Hello guys, I am Jyoti Hart from OVSUDIP.com and today I am going to tell you how to create Mega Menu using Bootstrap 4. Okay, as you can see, it's a standard Bootstrap 4 number and after that I am taking a cursor. Okay, and in the drop down, you can see that's the Mega Menu. I mean, here I create the only four columns. I mean, you can make whatever you want. Okay, and you can take it multiple rows also okay so how to create it i am going to tell you and you can see it's totally responsive also see you can see that yeah it's totally responsive okay so let's move to my dream viewer so here i come in my add dream viewer and i am take a standard html5 document now i have to link up bootstrap css and js file okay so first of all link the css file css and from there i already downloaded bootstrap.css and for the js file i use cnd so for that you have to come bootstrap 4 official website and from there you have to come down and here you can find the cnds okay the copy or js cnds code okay copy it and paste here after that just save it after saving and just you have to take the bootstrap for navbar code okay for that you have to click here in documentation and just type navbar in the navbar you, you have to just click here and just copy all the code as it is okay yeah till there copy it and the space it check it it working or not okay yeah it's come and here you can see now in the drop down only single column is coming and i'm going to change this single column in a mega drop down okay so first of all come back to code again before code actually you can uh, take the carousel one okay so for the carousel code come there and just type carousel and the carousel just take that and copy all that okay and just copy and paste there okay now just change the image okay here also yeah it should be this one and here also okay save it and check it once yeah cards are working perfectly okay so now come back to here you can see the drop down button is here okay so this is the drop down button so just delete all of these things delete them save it see now i think it's yeah only one item is there delete that also and in the drop down add another class mega menu okay now take a row Just make the proper alignment okay 
class row and here I am going to take total four column so dim class will be call MD on three okay here I am going to take some sample image before that I have to I think increase that mega menu width so we can check how it's coming yeah, till it's coming that much dude. okay so I need some increment so for that I have to add some cu custom style set okay so in the CS version I am going to add a new file like bootstrap 4 mega menu dot css okay so here link css bootstrap 4 mega menu dot css save it come here and taking the class mega menu okay make the width 800 pixel overflow hidden and I want some padding of the item in the items some 10 pixel is enough okay save it come back yeah I'm going to take some images here first of all so image source will be img slash flower one and the class will be called something uh, like flower and class will be img fluid if you use bootstrap 3 then everything will be same but in that class it will be img responsive okay i'm here using bootstrap 4 so it will be img fluid okay close that save it and check it once how it's coming yeah it's coming very nicely so i need some text in the downside of the image okay so come here back so taking one h4 flower one sorry i misspelled that flower one okay save it and i want some orange color in this so i am going to add directly some inline css here orange color will be enough save it it's coming okay now take some paragraph add some text some random text
So what about some random text you add? Save it. Take it once. Yeah, it's coming. Okay. Don't need that much. Uh, I think that will be enough. Save it. And after that, after this call MD3, add another call MD3. Okay. So now in this case here, add something, take multiple paragraph. Okay. Paragraph. In paragraph, anchor tag. This step will be empty. I am keeping here empty. You can add anything here. And after that, close the anchor tag. Like. Item a new um, item number one, item number two, and so on. Okay, just copy that, paste it multiple times. So, it will be the next line. Okay, save it once, check it. I need some heading here. Show. Just remove that. Make it a strong tag. In between. Uh, in the strong, I'm going to take some class for further editing actually. class will be uh, sub menu heading okay so add some random text like kids item items okay so save it Let's check how it's look like. Yeah, it's come very nicely. I'm just copy another two row, the same thing. Save it. Check it. See, already my Mega Mino prepared. Now I will do some further customization for the changing the color and removing these effects. Okay. Okay. So come to my custom style set. So dot Mega Mino. Anchor tank text decoration none and color color cut blue. Okay, now for the subheading. mega menu dot sub menu heading Yeah, that's it save it check it how it look like yeah see nice effect is coming but see 
it's you know going down and expand that it's i mean due to that 800 pixel weight it's the downside this scroll bar is coming i don't want that so the easy step is just uh, i mean disable that uh, sc scroll y uh, sorry scroll x okay but uh, you can use media query here okay so for the media query at the rate of at the rate media max max width 500 pixel so mega menu and width is equal to 300 pixel I think 300 will be enough. Well, let's check. Refresh on. Drop down. See that uh, scroll bar gone and nice responsive menu is coming. Okay, that's it. If you have any doubt regarding this video, you can ask me in the comment section. If you like this video please like and share this video and if you want to get the latest update of my channel then please 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 subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon side of the subscribe button thank you